Times never seem so good. I am inclined to tune in just. Oh, I love it. Very <laughs> nice of Neil Diamond to do that for us. Yeah. All right, nice. number nine. Let's talk about the sea cucumber. They're scavengers and they like to feed on small items along the seafloor. Wow. Here's the interesting thing about sea cucumbers. They eat with their feet. Well, their feet are actually tiny tubes that surround their mouths. They use the tubes to sweep the water around them and capture bits of food. Then mm. one by one, they transfer the food into their mouths. Use that one to impress the kids at dinner tonight. Yeah. Better yet, demonstrate it at the dinner table. Yeah. yeah. You'll see a cucumber. Yeah. All right, number eight. Here's a cool video of a colorful igloo. It's from TikTok. Oh, all right. Called Jess Creates. That's the account. Jessica Montenegro built it in her front yard with her two young sons. Wow. Well. She lives in Minnesota. First, she filled up aluminum tins with water and food coloring and let them freeze overnight. Next, she mixed water and snow to make a slush mixture to hold the bricks together. Wow. Look at that. As long mm. as it's really cold. It should freeze together fast. Boy, that's mom dedication that right there. Mom dedication. Yeah. Or trying to get followers on TikTok. Yeah. Hey. Uh, she did a good job. Either way, who's got the freezer space for that? Mm. Well, you can leave it outside. It's cold outside. Oh, that's yeah. true. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's true. the beauty of this time of the year. How do you keep that structure? I mean, I, yeah. well, engineers would know. Yeah. Hmm. We can call the engineering department yeah. and come down and explain yeah, be it good. To us. Yeah, you haven't fixed my heat too. Yeah. If yeah. they're coming down. Number seven, uh, bride to bees are known for having some unusual demands. After all, it is their big day. But this one takes it to a whole other level. The bride's brother shared the story on Reddit. He said his wife was mortified when she received her sister's wedding invitation because it included a pre-wedding diet plan. Oh boy. He confronted his sister about it. She said she wanted his wife to be fit. His <laughs> wife is also pregnant. Oh well, boy. He threw the invite and the diet plan in the trash. Turns out the bride sent the diet plan to all of her guests. That's oh, fair. So they, well, it's equal treatment. Yeah. So they could all look as good as possible on her special day. Isn't that nice? No. She's Everyone looking out for their health. Yeah. That's really all it is. That Not only is she inviting them to her wedding right. to partake in food and drink, she's yeah. dispensing health tips so everybody can look and feel their Could best. Could you imagine? Yeah. It says <laughs> something about them that they're friends with someone like that, so well, they somewhat or deserve family. it. Or family. Or family. Right. It's his sister. Well, they, they can't do anything about it, but... <laughs> well, gee. It seems reasonable. No one wants to look <laughs> sure. their best on a day when you're going to be photographed. Why do I care how good I look on your wedding day? Well, that's your problem, <laughs> not mine. Huh. Oh, well. Yeah. And going to be a great wedding. I hope yeah, I can right? do that. Yeah, right? I bet there'll be like for. six people there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, time for number six already. Our pal Gerard Strafford is the country oh. gentleman uh, from England, and he likes the uh, big veg. Uh, we've been talking about him for a while. Well, G. Strassi, as we like to call him, is off the chain with this tweet. Look at this. Pickled elephant garlic. Wow. Mm. If you like the crunch, this one's for you. Cheers. And that got uh, us to thinking, what other uh, things are named after an elephant? Uh, well, there's elephant ears uh, yeah. that you can get at the carnival. It's fried dough with sure. sugar. Then there's the elephant shrew. It's like oh. a mouse, but it has a really long nose. Yeah. And last, there's that actor, uh, Timothy Elephant. <laughs> uh, yeah. You may be saying, no, that's uh, oh, stupid. Oh, I love him. But elephant, uh, it, you're saying it's elephant, but not elephant. However, uh, the name elephant is derived from the name of a horn instrument, and that instrument is so named because it was originally in the shape of an elephant tusk. Therefore, Timothy Oliphant, the actor, is also named after an elephant. Gotcha. That was a long way to go. It was. Yeah, but we're there. We got to the finish line, it. and it was worth it. That's right. He's one of those actors that's in almost everything you turn. It's like, oh, he's in there too. Yeah. Really? But oh, that show Justified. If you watch that one, no. I think it's on the I Hulu. Haven't. It was a cup on a couple of years ago. Yeah.
Good. He's a U.S. Marshal. Yeah. Uh, solving sure crimes. Point? Solving crimes and getting it done. Is it old timey or is it present no, day? No, it's present day. Oh, it it's is. It's set in Kentucky and he's, oh, yeah, he's, yeah. It's, it's good. He's All good. Right. Anyway, yeah. all right, number five, talk about Whimsy. The Blue Star Appliance Company announced a new innovation that allows you to customize the front of your appliances oh, to match your wallpaper. Well, look Isn't at that. that. Nice. The new process applies any image or print onto a range or refrigerator. You can match any color or design. Pick it yourself or work with an interior designer. Blue Star is an American company based in Pennsylvania. Huh. Look at that. Wish we had that grown up. Would have been cool to see wood shingles on the front of the, <laughs> yeah, the, front of the oven. Yeah. That's wow. Nice. That's Good great. Huh. All right, number four. This one is all in the headline. A Ukrainian man lied to the police and told them he murdered someone so they would plow his road in order to arrest him. <laughs> no, no. This Come guy on. called the cops Saturday night and said he had stabbed and killed his mother's partner. At the same time, he warned the police that they should probably come with a snowplow because there was no other way to get him. The police did not come with a slow snow plow, but they did come and they found that no one had been murdered. Oh boy. The uh, killer confessed he was arrested and now he faces a fine of 119 harivnas. Wow. That's about four bucks. That's tough. Huh. Oh. It was worth the risk of getting, bucks getting on the gamble, yeah. 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 Wow. Hey, uh, number three, this small island in the Bahamas is for sale. Tim McGraw and Faith Hill bought the place in 2003. It's known as Goat K, and it's just under 20 acres. Mm. The well. main residence that you see here has more than 6,500 square feet of living space Yeesh. and is separated into eight different pavilions. It also includes two white sandy beaches, if you're interested. $35 million. Wow. Wonder why they're selling it. Wow. Kids grow up, don't want to go there anymore, yeah, yeah. you know. Bad bathroom or plumbing. Yeah. Getting to them. Huh. Well, good That's, for them. Yeah. Mm. Number two, uh, here's a simple new gadget. It's called Surface Snap. It's a thin strip of leather that has a button on it that you can unsnap to put your cables in. So your phone charging cord doesn't just fall onto the floor when it's not in use. It has a really gentle adhesive, so you can stick it to the wall or any table, and you can pick one up at 12south.com. So it's huh. got sticky stuff on the back? Yeah. Does that ruin but your it's wallpaper? Not ruin, i got to believe it does not. I've not bought one myself. Yeah. To be honest with you, I just read the story now. <laughs> I haven't even looked at it before. It popped up, which might be a surprise to a lot yeah. of people. But uh, I don't know anything beyond that. Gotcha. All right, number one, earlier this week we showed you the legendary Gene Kelly ice skating with Dorothy Hamill. Yes. And we were all oh, surprised. Yeah. He's a dancer. He can ice skate? Holy cow. Well, he also roller skates. Come Someone on. sent this to Come us on. from a movie called It's Always Fair Weather from 1955. All right. Got yeah. a bit of a show off here. He is tap dancing in metal roller skates. Look at this. Oh my, come on. Yeah, come on. Right. Do you think that's really the sound of those, or is that being snuck in? Yeah, I think that's legit. I don't know. I'm not song and dance men around anymore. No, you're right. It's a loss. Or maybe we're just not seeing them in the movies. Oh. Is that what like you sing and dance every on. day on this show? Yeah. <laughs> See, you know, like Star <laughs> Wars had some of this. It'd <laughs> be great. Rocky, right? Yeah. Right before he knocks out Drago. Yeah. yeah. Okay. How does this add to the plot line, though? It's what confuses me. These are always like dream sequences or something, aren't they? Does this happen in real life? You're driving and some idiot right. has to start tap dancing in right. the street. How long in this Run city skates. before someone runs yeah. him over? Yeah. Yeah, he'd be done by now. Can we take, can put some 80s funk music or something in here that's a little more roller skating yeah. genre that we know? Kind of looks like a construction crew I saw the other day, though. One guy in the middle working. 
Oh, here we go. <laughs> Anybody else want it? <laughs> there you are. Well, there we go. Huh. Now that oh. was an entertainer, huh? Yeah, sure was. <sighs> we weren't doing that at the roller rink. Night.